Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Thursday, April the 14th, 2016. And as always, thank you so much. So message today, one I learned in college in 1992. <laughs> so yes, yes, been a long time. So start your day off with a small gesture of discipline and watch for big changes. And I don't know why or how or what prompted me, but I remember waking up one day and I was, it was a Christian liberal arts university um, in the Bible belt. And um, I remember just thinking, you know what? Every day I'm going to wake up and I'm going to make my bed. Now I'm a college student. You don't have to make your bed, blah, blah. I didn't care what people thought when they walked in my room. You know, I, as long as things were kind of neat and tidy, I was okay. But I remember just every day getting up and making my bed, just, you know, putting the sheets back, the pillow, straightening it out. And that, that I didn't, what I didn't realize was I was setting an intention for discipline. I was setting an intention for, you know, a, you know, a neat, tidy, you know, clean, um, you know, moving forward pattern. And, you know, I do these videos every single day and finally gave myself a break when I go on vacation and not do them because the first year I did, I even had them pre-done so that I could wake up in Italy and press send, which I finally gave myself that break, which was good and I needed to do that. But, you know, the discipline is just a powerful thing and it's helped me in so many areas. Um, and I'm reinstating it in a few other areas of my life. So start off your day with something small, you know, whatever it is, you know, if it's, you know, making your significant other a cup of coffee every morning or tea or whatever it is, but find something that you can be very disciplined about. You know, brushing your teeth is a discipline, taking a shower is a discipline, but a lot of times it comes out of more of a fear of what people might think, you know, making your bed, not many people are going to see your bedroom. So that was always such a cool one. But find something very simple that you can make a daily discipline and then watch for the big and great changes as those as you become more disciplined in other areas that you say, hey, I want to change here. I want to change my diet. I want to change my work. I want to change my thought process. It will flow into that. So there's your message. Hope you enjoy. Now, if you're going to stick around, we're going to talk about some cards and numbers because I know many of you, this is the point where you go, Thank you very much for the message, and I'm going to move on. And that is absolutely fine, because believe me, I've toyed with, should I just do a message video, or should I just do cards and numbers and, you know, intuitive video? And I continue to do both. So cards, numbers for today, all the numbers add up to number nine, nine, transition, endings, you know, transformation. So today's a good day for that. Lenormand, to go along with that, is the key. We had this yesterday. It's coming up again, the key to these endings, to these transformations, shuffling the cards Yesterday we pulled temperance with the key. Let's see what we get today to go along with that. So, seven of cups. So the key is making the choice. Seven of cups is about lots of choices before. Sometimes they immobilize us because we're afraid to move forward. So I think the key is making the choice, getting it done. These will probably be very emotional choices because of the fact that these are cups, matters of the hearts, matter of the heart. Maybe you have two hearts. I don't know. Um, so make the choice today and just know that you're, if you make the wrong one in your personal mind and opinion, you'll eventually get to make the right one sometime, some point. What I'm trying to say is usually when you make this decision, if that was the direction for your highest good and greatest growth, wonderful. If this way was and you make this one, eventually you probably have to come back to this one. So don't worry about it. You'll circle back around some way or another. So trust your gut, trust your instinct, and make that decision today. Tomorrow, all the numbers add up to one. One is beginnings and start. So after we've made these transitions and endings, we get to start again. La Norman is going to be five card. This is often about our health and our wellness. Could be like the family tree as well, but it's usually our dimensions of wellness that I work off of. Five dimensions of wellness, physical, intellectual, emotional, social, and spiritual. So this could be about that. Let's see if we get a little more clarity of what it is, where we can start for this one day. Tear to go along with it. Well, we're definitely talking about spiritual wellness. So the Ace of Wands is all about beginnings as well. It's a one day. And the wands are spiritual, creative, sexual, imaginative in nature. So today's the day to start something new for your body, something spiritual, maybe a spiritual practice. Maybe it's that discipline I talked about. Maybe you're watching this video midday and you go, all right, tomorrow I will start the discipline. Well, there it goes. And it's going to make a big, huge spiritual change for you. Maybe it's a day that you start reading something more spiritual and, com and, and comprehensive. comprehensive. I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, 
So maybe t tomorrow is that day where you start that book or start meditation or start something that drives you spiritually. So, hey, there's your message. There's your in information and uh, your numbers and your cards. So have an amazing day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right? Namaste. Bye-bye.